Good morning, Chairman Catania, members of the Health Committee. My name is Judith Sangelo. I'm the Executive Director of Children's Law Center and a resident of the district. I'm testifying today on behalf of the Children's Law Center, which is the largest nonprofit legal services organization in the district and the only such organization devoted to a full spectrum of children's legal services. Every year, we represent 1,200 low-income children and families. The children we serve have some of the most significant and complex mental health needs in the district, and my colleagues routinely cite the lack of appropriate mental health services as the greatest barrier to success for the children we serve. The district's failure to provide adequate mental health services to our children has a long history, but during the past year, we've seen some seeds of positive change. This optimum begins with the Director of Children and Youth Services, Ms. Marie Morales Black, who we love, and who clearly articulates an understanding of the problems to be overcome and some of the key steps to success. We're particularly excited that Ms. Morales Black is leading the creation of a three to five year children's plan. My written testimony contains much more praise of Ms. Morales Black and of DMH, DMH's pilot programs. But let me now turn to the major problems that remain because Ms. Morales, Morales Black needs the backing of more than Mr. Barron and Ms. Bajron, which she has in order to succeed. It would be a conservative estimate to say that there are 5,000 children in DC without adequate mental health services. The district does not have the right quantity or type of services. We're still without services such as intensive day treatment programs, therapeutic after school and summer programs, integrated mental health and substance abuse services for youth with co-occurring disorders, and services for children birth to five years old. Quality control is a major problem as well. In 2009, consumer services reviewers found only in 48% of the cases that the systems performed in the acceptable range. This poor performance did not surprise me since my colleagues frequently complain of the poor quality services provided to our child clients. Performance pro problems include untimely and incomplete assessments and major mental health conditions left undiagnosed for months or years. Children leave hospitals without proper discharge plans or supports in place and end up back in the hospital soon thereafter. Clinicians do not talk to each other or to the child's caregivers, teachers, and other key adults, and therefore often review complex situations superficially and fail to identify core issues. Effective teamwork is critically important in developing a robust community-based mental health system. We know this is a top priority for DMH, and we hope to see the tangible effects of this commitment demonstrated through improved outcomes for children next year. None of these problems will be fixed nor will a children's plan be successful if the system continues to be fragmented and if money continues to be invested in incarceration, foster care, and inpatient hospitalization rather than in front-end services. These are issues I addressed at the Department of Healthcare Finance hearing and I have also discussed in more detail in my written testimony. I hope that this year the Department of Mental Health, the Mayor, and the Council will treat the situation facing children needing mental health services as the crisis that it is and make solving the problem a priority. We have the right leadership in place, but we need them to work together to address and dismantle the underlying systemic barriers presented by our fragmented, complex mental health system. We look forward to working with all of you to achieve those goals. Thank you.